A report issued by the consulting firm McKenzie & Company last week was widely covered in the media with headlines like, China overtakes the U.S. as the world's wealthiest country, China overtakes the U.S. as the world's richest nation, and China is now the world's richest country. But is this correct? Is China richer than the United States? Hey everyone, I'm Noah Zerbe. I'm a professor of political economy at Humboldt State University. In this video series, I try to explain the concepts and theories behind current events, all in two minutes or less. Measuring national wealth is surprisingly tricky. The figure we mo most often use is gross domestic product, or GDP, which in the broadest terms is essentially a monetary measure of the total value of goods and services produced in a country in a given year. Now, there's a lot of problems with GDP as a measure of national economies, which I examine in another video, but it does give us a good general measure of the relative size of national economies. And if we look at GDP, we find that China is indeed the world's largest economy with a GDP of about $27 trillion. The United States is second with a GDP of about $23 trillion. This is hardly a new phenomenon though. China's GDP surpassed that of the United States sometime around 2016 or 2017, according to World Bank data. But China has a lot more people than the U.S. does, and if we look at GDP per person or GDP per capita, we find that the richest countries shift around quite a bit. On a per person basis, the United States is about the 15th richest country in the world with a GDP per capita of about $68,000, well behind that of other countries like Luxembourg with a GDP per capita of about $122,000, Singapore with $102,000 per person, or Ireland with $99,000 per person. But the United States is well ahead of China on a per capita basis, with China's GDP per capita placing it at about 100th in the world, a GDP cap per capita of about $19,000. So if China's GDP passed the United States around 2016, what is McKinsey reporting on? What's all the fuss about? McKinsey's analysis was trying to look not at total economic activity, but at total wealth, a far more difficult concept to actually measure. It's an interesting approach and one that highlights some important features that GDP misses. The report itself is well worth a read and I'll link to it below. That's it for now. If you found this helpful, click thumbs up and subscribe to catch future explainers as I release them. You should also check out my other videos on this topic, which I'll also link to below. Please leave any questions you have in the comments section, and thanks for watching everyone. Have a good day. Bye.